Pete turned to the pretty brown-eyed girl and said, Are you sure you want to hear the whole thing? Yeah, I really do. Well, okay then. It'll be a laugh, I said, cutting her off. Pete looked at me in such a way as if to say, I hate you. I started to chuckle to myself. Then Pete joined in, and so did the girl whose name we didn't quite know at that point in time. We had just met her. She was sitting on one of the old dry stone walls that separated the car park from the little bit of beach when the tide was out. It was Pete I did to go and talk to her. I don't think he fancied her. She just looked... interesting. We walked over to her, wrapped up warm, multiple layers defending us from the cold early autumn winds of Newquay. And she was there in a thin cardigan. She was probably local. Pete offered her one of his many layers. She politely declined and asked us what we were doing in Newquay at five o'clock in the morning. Are you here to see the dolphins? You have dolphins here? Pete asked excitedly. She sniggered and pointed to a sandwich board not three feet away that read, Dolphin survey boat trips. I burst out laughing. We explained that we'd been travelling the whole night and only just arrived. She said that she worked in a little shop that sold beach goods and gifts and that she had to be in work early to stop the shelves, which she hadn't done the night before. Then she asked us why we were there. We'd been asked this a lot on our travels and instantly gave her the generic we're on our gap year and didn't have enough money to go anywhere good answer. Of course she laughed, as everyone did. She also seemed interested. You must have a really good story to tell then, she asked us. Actually we do, and I've been writing it down, I said. A bit more blasé than appropriate for the trip that we've had so far. Can I hear it? She asked eagerly. Hear what? Pete replied. What's written? Pete turned to the pretty brown-eyed girl and said, Are you sure you want to hear the whole thing? And now we're back where we started. Hello Charlotte, it's Wednesday. It's a bit late for that. So that was the beginning of the first draft of my English coursework. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. That was only the first 400 words. It's about 1,500 words long, even though it only actually had to be 1,000 words long. Ah, uh, face palm. But um, it was really fun writing it, and um, I hope you like it. And goodbye, Charlotte. I'll see you on Friday. We loaded up the car with all the necessary things for a trip around the United Kingdom. CDs, books, handheld gaming devices, games, about 30 pots of paprika Pringles, a slight over-exaggeration, 15 packs of giant chocolate buttons, not an exaggeration, two sleeping bags, a two-man tent, about an eighth of the clothes necessary for a journey half the length that we were about to travel. It was the end of our last summer holidays, and we had decided to take this year off to do some travelling and just have some fun before the real world hit us square in the face. We were fully aware that this moment we met adulthood would not be a pleasant one, and we were frankly and respectively terrified of this moment that was heading towards us like some kind of life-consuming train ready to take us into the real world. We didn't think that we were running away from responsibility, but in retrospect, we were.